hello dear viewers uh, once again uh, welcome to my new lecture so in this lecture uh, we will discuss about the androgens and related drugs so look at the layout and the different classification of drugs of androgen and related drugs so first of all we will classify the androgens and related drugs into different getting into three categories the first one is androgens while the second one is anabolic steroids and the third one is anti androgens androgens uh, they are further divided into two groups the first one is naturals and synthetics the naturals uh, include testosterone dihydro testosterones and androsterones while the second one is synthetic so synthetic include methyl testosterones phloxy mesterones and mesterolones while the anabolic steroids uh, include methyl dienones mandrolones penyl propionate nandrolones decanoates and oxymetazone or methylones stenozolones while the anti androgens are further divided into that is uh, three so the first one is cyproterones acetate uh, flotamide and um, bicarotamide while the fifth one is 5 alpha reductase inhibitor which include phenosteride and dutasterides uh, now the drugs uh, used for erectile dysfunction uh, that is uh, further divided into three groups the first one is androgens while the second one is phosphodiesterase pipe inhibitor while the third one is intracavernosal vasodilators so androgens includes uh, testosterones and others while the paspo diesterase 5 inhibitors include sildenafils tadalafils and vardenafils while the intra uh, cavernosals vasodilators uh, they are further divided into two that is fifivarines fifi and pentolamines while the second one is alprostadils pge ones uh, further, uh, I would like to share uh, something special uh, regarding the uh, preparations and the doses which are available. You can see here in the literature. So, preparations of androgen the first one is testosterone. So, testosterone free 25 milligram IM daily uh, or twice or weekly. So, Equavirons, this is the trade name of testosterone. Mean testosterone is available in the market by a trade name Equavirons 25 milligram and 1 ml injections. <clears throat> While the second one is testosterone propionate, that is 25 to 50 milligram IM daily to or twice weekly, which is also available uh, by different names, that is testovirons and uh, parentrins and this known 25 uh, 50 milligram per ml injections while the third one is testovirons depot 100 testopropionates 25 milligram plus testo uh, in and that 100 milligrams and 1 ml impures 1 ml im weekly while the fourth one is testovirons defar 250 so that is testopropionate content 250 milligram plus testo and that's 25 200 250 mg milligram and 1 ml infuse 1 ml ims every two to four weeks uh, the fifth one is sustenance that is 100 testopropionate 20 mg plus testopenyl propionate 40 mg plus testo iso uh, caprovate 40 mg uh, and 1 ml impulse 1 ml in im every 2 to 3 weeks while the sixth one is 
sustenone 250 so testopropine at that is 30 milligram plus testopenyl propine at 60 mg plus testo isocarpro at that is 60 milligram plus testo uh, decarbonate 100 milligram and 1 ml impules so 1 ml impules every 3 to 4 weeks while the testosterone's um uh, undecarbonates that is uh, also available at the dose of uh, andriol sporty milligrams capsule 1 to 3 capsule daily for male hypogonadism and especially osteoporosis while the h1 is um <coughs> Mesterolones that is uh, available at the dose of 25 milligrams. So you can see here uh, that is very uh, good once a day or TDS three time a day orals. So these are the brands which are available that is restores or provero names and uh, mesterolone 25 milligram tablet. Another one is uh, dihydro. Uh, dihydrotestosterones which is also available uh, and the dose of 100 uh, 250 milligram cutaneous application daily so these are the branded like uh, <coughs> and drug teams uh, 25 milligram per gram gel for applications and over the non scrotal skins once only uh, then come to all anabolic steroids which i have already explained in my previous lectures that what are anabolic steroids and its clinical pharmacology adrs adverse drug reactions uh, and indications and many and more so, <coughs> okay so uh, anabolic steroids are methane uh, dinones that is available in 2 to 5 milligram ODR BD oral and children it can be given at the dose of 0 0.05 milligram per kg per day 25 milligram IM weekly so that is uh, this drug is available methane uh, dinones uh, anabolics 2 to 5 milligram tablets or 2 milligram per ml drops 25 milligram per ml injection okay another one is uh, nandrolone's penile propionates uh, which is also available in 10 to 50 milligram in children mm, it can be recommended uh, 10 milligrams im once or twice weekly uh, dorabolines 10 25 milligram per ml injection uh then uh, nandrolones uh, deconvert 25 to 100 milligram im every three weeks and then they are available in different doses 2500 milligram per ml while the uh, oxymethylones uh, that is also available in 5 to 10 milligram in children so it can be recommended at 0.1 milligram per kg body weights already so the brands are the drug uh, which is available in the market that is adro weight 5 mg tablets the another one is uh, stenozolols which is uh, 2 to 6 milligram per day uh, minabols and neuroballs and tenzol 2 milligram tablets actually uh, these uh, red lines indicates these are the market brands actually these are the uh, proprietary name of the drugs uh, then impeded uh, androgens uh, that is denazole 200 600 milligram per day uh, denazol and landrogels and many and more like 1500 200 milligram while the anti uh, androgens are uh, cyprotyrones acetate which is also available in 2 milligram od uh, again at 35 and dynex 35 and so <coughs> cyprotyrones acetate 2 milligram plus uh, ethanyl estradiol 35 micrograms tablets while another one is flotamide flotamide 250 milligrams steady uh, three time a day uh, prostamides these are the brands and flotides and cytomate 250 milligram tablets while another one is um, <coughs> bicalutamides uh, that is 50 milligram od 
So these are the brands, 50 mg that is available in tablet form, 50 mg. Then 5 alpha reductase inhibitor that is finasteride and uh, dutasterides. So that is also available, especially finasterides. Uh, they are indicated for benign hypertrophia prostate, BHP, 5 mg OD review after 6 months for male pattern baldness. So 1 mg per day finasterides can be given for male pattern baldness. So that is also available in different names like Fenera and Fenest 5 mg tablet. And <coughs> 1 mg tablets uh, as well as uh, Dutasteride that is for benign, benign uh, hypertrophy um, of uh, prostate or you can say benign prostate, benign prostate hyperplasia 0 0.5 mg per day and many more uh, theorized 0.5 mg tablets for drugs uh, used for erectile dysfunction that is sildenafil sildenafil um, that is uh, at the dose of 50 mg maximum dose is 100 mg so not to be exceeded from this dose one hour before uh, intercourse so elderly 25 mg that is available uh, by different names like fenegra uh, vigra in cabretas and many in more drugs like 25 1500 milligram tablets mm, then um, tadalafil's uh, 10 milligram and its maximum dose is uh, 20 milligram at least uh, uh, <coughs> Uh, 30 minutes uh, before entered course that is also available in different brands like Tadalus 10 20 milligrams and 10 milligram tablets uh, Inshallah in my next lectures uh, we will discuss about the hormone and related drug estrogens and related drugs that was all uh, discussions was about the uh, androgenic preparation especially uh, as we know that androgen these are the male sex hormones so especially those drugs which are used in the treatment of variety of disorder especially in male uh, once again so I am very thankful uh, to all of my viewers uh, to uh, for watching uh, this lectures uh, on regular basis. Uh, wish you best of luck. So, if you have any question regarding my lectures, so then I will share more content with you people. Thank you.